Throughout history, men have always been drawn to grass. Whether it be in the park, a sports ground, or simply in your own garden, there's just something about those quintessential British stripes that makes you want them for yourself. Not to mention getting one over on your neighbors. Follow Daniel on his lawn journeys in his step-by-step -step videos this year whilst you create your own lawn journey, achieving that dream lawn you have always wanted with simple and easy to follow methods. The lawn you have always dreamed of is only a grass seed away. Now sit back and enjoy the video. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Okay, so we're back on Divorce the Mosses. Not been here for a while. I mean, I've, I've been, but I've not been filming it for a while. It's just been so windy, this road. I mean, today was supposed to be no wind, but it's just windy again. But it's just good enough to spray what I want to spray. So we've got some good coverage all over now, and that's what I've been waiting for. It's had a treatment of... Well, actually, I just did a bit of a trial and I, and I double sprayed... Well, I put a double dose of Galactic on and it thickened it up. Like you see the uh, areas now where I had that ribbon, that's more or less filled in. We just need that grass seed that's grown. Then uh, look, just to uh, take on a bit of feed so it can thicken up. So I'm going to cut it now and I'm going to spray it with a little portion just as a trial and then we'll see how it works going forward. So it'll be a couple of weeks before we see the results of this one. But I'm encouraged. I mean, we're never going to get it looking like that. I've not cut that yet. I'm waiting to uh, just for that shadow to go before I cut it. And I can get some proper nice footage for you. So let's get it cut. I'm just going to cut it with the rotary on number two. I'm still on number two on this. Uh, it's doing really well on that. So custom is happy so far with how it looks, you know, from where it was to where it is now. So let's cut it and get some strikes for our guidelines and then we'll spray it. So that wind's dropped nicely, so we're going to get on with some spraying. So first of all, as I said the other night in one of my videos, is that what we don't want to do is go straight in there with the concentrate, because what will happen is, because it's just a hollow pipe all the way down to this end, you'll find the concentrate goes all the way down to this end, and then when you spray your first lot, you'll be spraying a concentrate mix. So we always put a bit of water in first to get the water in there, and then the product can go in and mix together that way. So first of all, just pour it in the water, I've got to do this lawn and the lawn over there. So I've uh, got it all mixed in my uh, jug there. I've got galactic green in there. And that goes on at four mils per square meter. And then my product that I'm just doing some trials of at the moment, which I'll be bringing out soon. I'm going on at a higher rate. You can put it on between 10 and 20 mils per square meter. So it's quite a high rate, this one. So just because it's this lawn and it doesn't matter what the outcome is, I'm just going to try the higher amount because what I don't want to do is give it to you in a higher dose which is not suitable for you and end up with loads of claims because I've killed everybody's lawn. So we're just doing some trials with it, getting that calculation right and then I can send it out to you knowing it's going to do the job. So we've done the water, the product and then we just top it up with water again. Just like that. Give it a shake. As you can see the distance, maybe. You can see the bunting on the garage. So it's a Jubilee Day, Thursday, the 2nd of June. There you go, Thursday, the 2nd of June. So I'm doing this. And I'm heading straight from here to form of Britain's best lawn to see how we're getting on there. Spray some uh, galactic green there, ready for tomorrow. It's not going as I planned, really. Just we had a heavy dilute. A deluge of rain and it did it set the new seed back a little bit I'll be honest so I'm a bit disappointed with this week because it's not been the weather if it had been like this all week it would have been all right but we've just had to take a step back with that rain because it flooded it actually flooded the lawn and was running off in parts because it was that heavy so I'm a bit gutted um, but maybe miracles do happen and I'll go today a bit of this heat and things are just starting to kick in so anyway we'll concentrate on this lawn for now so I'll spray this and then We'll give the other side a cut and we'll finish on a nice uh, cutting session. Right, 
Right, okay, so we've put that on. All that's left for me to do now is leave that for about an hour or so, minimum, because we've got the galactic green on there that has to stay on the leaf for it to take it in, because there's some fast action leaf penetrants on there, which will absorb into the leaf, giving us that green up straight away, and that's how that works. So what we'll do is we'll probably leave it overnight and come back tomorrow and water in, because we need to water in the other liquid that we put on, because that is getting taken in by the roots. So it's very important that we respect both needs. So we leave the galactic on, for a minimum of an hour. Doesn't matter if you water it in after, it'll just work better if you can leave it on longer. But because it's a liquid, we're not in any danger of it scorching. So we don't have to worry about watering it in. Even on the hottest day, we can just allow it overnight if we need and water it in in the morning or the day after. It does need watering in to get it into those roots because the plant's not gonna take it up otherwise. So I've put that on. The next question I know you're asking is why don't I go on with a granular? Why don't I go on with equilibrium? Because simple answer is, I don't want to do the cutting and that's not because I'm lazy or anything it's just that I'm limited by how much green bin space I've got and if I just go on here with equilibrium it's just going to go bump and we're going to be cutting it three times a week and that's not what we're doing here so we go on with the liquid because we get more sustained response and a slower growth time yeah if we went with loads you would get a big bump but liquids give us that um, kind of buffer of knowing we're not going to have to be cutting it every day because it's a slower uptake in terms of growth response it gets taken in quicker but it gives us a more slower growth rate over the time it doesn't last as long as a granular that's a negative of a, a liquid but it just means with a liquid you're in control more than with a granular because with a granular you don't know when it's going to release based on conditions whereas a liquid you can take it straight away and you know it's going to work for a shorter period but you're going to get that um what can we say sustained response we'll stick with that so I'm just going to set up over there, we'll get that double cut on the other side and hopefully they'll be looking smart because that shadow's almost gone now. Sun's out, what a day to be cutting that lawn over there, so I'll see you around there. Hope you've enjoyed this one today. This is just a pre-warm up ready for tomorrow when we reveal the results at the Farm of Britain's Best Lawn and see how we've got on with that. Like I said, don't expect too much because I think I've failed, but you never know. It might look like this, but it might not. But either way, they're happy with it. So that means uh, the guests will be happy with it. And that's what it's all about. So join me there tomorrow. We'll see you soon.